all the world's a stage, or so claimed the immortal bard Shakespeare, a sentiment very much echoed by Price's character in his next big screen appearance, Theater of Blood. Price plays Edward Lionheart, a Shakespearean actor whose work is ridiculed by theater critics. When he doesn't win Best Actor in the famed Critics' Choice Awards, he angrily confronts the panel of critics. His daughter Edwina, played by Diana Rigg, tries to intervene, but Lionheart, dejected, commits suicide by leaping from a balcony. There's the respect that makes calamity. So long life. The film opens two years later. A theater critic named George Maxwell is lured to an abandoned warehouse and violently murdered by a group of homeless people. As he is dying, a policeman appears, but it is actually Lionheart, in disguise, still very much alive, come to mock the dying critic. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. You. It's you. But you're dead. No. No, another critical miscalculation on your part, dear boy. I am well. It is you who are dead. <laughs> Afterwards, a second critic named Hector Snipe is invited to visit an abandoned theater. Thinking he is going to get an exclusive story on the resurrection of Lionheart and his career, he is surprised to learn Lionheart has a much more sinister purpose for inviting him. He is stabbed through the heart with a spear by Lionheart. The dragon wing of night o'erspreads the earth. My half supped spear that frankly would have fed, pleased with this dainty bait. Thus goes to bed. <laughs> At Maxwell's funeral the following day, Snipe's body turns up, dragged behind a runaway horse. Afterwards, a third critic is killed, his head surgically removed in a delightfully gruesome scene while he is drugged and lying in bed next to his wife. Face it! The police, led by Inspector Boot, played by Milo O'Shea, begin to suspect there is a pattern to the murders. It turns out that each critic that has died is a member of the Critics Award Circle and gave Lionheart a negative review during his final Shakespearean season. Each has been killed according to a death in the play which he or she panned. One critic named Devlin, played by Ian Hendry, figures out that Lionheart is still alive. The police at first don't believe him until the severed heart of another critic is delivered to Devlin's doorstep while the police are there and they have no choice but accept the truth. Open that. One by one, the members of the Critics Award Circle are killed until only the president, Devlin, is left alive. Lionheart and his assistant kidnap Devlin and place him in a death trap, refusing to release him until he grants the Critics' Choice Award to Lionheart. Police race to Lionheart's lair to try and rescue Devlin in time. Theater of Blood takes its playbook almost directly from another Price film, The Abominable Dr. Fives. In each, Price plays a character that was wronged by a group of people and is presumed dead, by suicide in Theater of Blood and by a car wreck in Fives. 
In each film, Price seeks revenge on the group by murdering them in a preordained fashion. In theater, they are killed according to the death scenes in the plays the critics panned. In fives, they are killed according to the biblical ten plagues of the Pharaoh. Both are dark comedies, and both are among the best films of Price's entire career. In each film, he has an assistant, the mute Volnavia in Fives, played by Virginia North, and in this one, the identity of his assistant, who remained disguised for much of the film, is revealed in the climactic finale. I return those duties back as our right fit. Among the critics that Price disposes of is British actress Coral Brown. They met on set and fell madly in love. Theater of Blood was directed by Douglas Hickox and released on April 5, 1973. Price divorced wife Mary Grant Price on April 15, 1973, after 23 years of marriage. He and Coral Brown were married a year later in October 1974. According to many sources, including his daughter Victoria, Price was truly happy in his new life, and he remained married to Coral until her death in 1991. This was one of Vincent's favorite films he ever made, and it's easy to see why. Vincent had, at this point in his career, no doubt dealt with his own fair share of snide critics, and doing away with them in the film must have felt great. He also gets to play a number of parts and eccentric roles throughout the film, a treat for a character actor like Price. Vincent was also very well known as a theatrical performer, and he put that experience to good use in this film, enthusiastically reciting Shakespeare throughout the film. Pure. Uh, use no entreaty, for it is in vain. Break thou in pieces and consume to ashes. Thou foul, accursed minister of hell. Theater of Blood is among my favorite of Vincent's films, and in fact, may be my very favorite. Despite its similarities to Dr. Fives, I prefer this film. It's creative script, excellent death scenes, fantastic cast, and wicked sense of humor make this one a true treat and an essential price film. Next up is another fan favorite, Madhouse. It is very true, oh wise and 